Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I thought I'd make a quick video on the three questions that were asked in my fellowship exam that I wrote last week. So the first question was around a life insurer and whether they should buy a retirement village. And the whole idea on why they should is that it would offset their mortality risk of them selling life annuities. The second question was around pension funds and whether they should be buying catastrophe bonds. And the whole pro was that it has low correlation, but the con was that the risk was, you know, very uncertain. And then finally, the last question was around hedge funds and whether they could be fitted or grouped in some sort of exchange traded fund. And we had to talk about whether we thought it was a good idea and what would be some of the practical problems around it. And that was basically it. So it was three questions. Um, they had like a bunch of sub questions on each one. But overall, I was quite happy with the exam. I don't know if I have passed. Um, it was tricky and with these questions, you don't know if you've written enough down. So I don't think I got anything wrong. I just don't know if I wrote enough down to, to get the pass. So I'd say there's maybe a 60% chance of me passing, but I don't know. You'll only find out much later because they take forever to mark. Uh, I think three people mark it here in South Africa, then they send it to England and somebody marks it there and it's a whole, it's a whole long process. But I'll let you guys know how I do. But I thought I'd make it just a quick video explaining what were the questions that popped up and you guys can get a feel for, for what the exam entails. So even though it was it's the financial fellowship, you can see life insurance, pension funds, these things still come up and you still need to have a good understanding of them in order to pass the exam. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thanks guys. Cheers.